Listen, I'm, I, I'm sorry for questioning why she was marrying you. It's so clear that she's marrying you because of the man you are. Here, here. I want you to know that. Thanks. Thanks. Mary, Arthur, I'd like you to meet my dad, Harold Dolan. Hey there, the pleasure's all yours. <laughs> Just kidding. Jesus Christ. Like a pie. Another extravaganza you can cut the suspense with a knife. I haven't seen so many. Boy, the guys in Helix look good, don't they? What can I say? <laughs> Face it, little fella, your dreams are just too big. Well, let me tell you something, Delbert, and I want you to remember where you heard it. There's no dream too big, and no dreamer too small. And reading them books again, huh? Same old thing, huh? No jobs this week? Oh, it's... Honey, you're running this house, not your mother. Well, she doesn't see it that way. She has to have the last word on everything. Well, you just have to be firm with her. Oh, I have to be firm with her. Otherwise, she'll just make your life miserable. Well, you don't have to worry about what she'll do next. Don't worry about the tea, Josephine. You forgot again. Mrs. Baxter died. Who died? Your friend, Mrs. Baxter. She's been on your mind a lot lately, but you forgot she died 10 years ago. 15. I'm not dead, Watson. This has been going on all summer? Ever since we got back from Canada. I think you're trying to scare me. You're mad because I got after you about the summer house. Oh, I just brought it up because you said you didn't want to go back to your apartment. Well, you, I didn't say I wanted to be tossed in with a bunch of old coops. You'd have a lot of life to the place. I don't think that's funny, Watson. 